hello good people and welcome back to my channel this is wheels and uh, you can make 5k daily with the laundry business now I'm going to explain to you how you can do that so on my channel I do research and uh, <coughs> I like sharing my findings about small and medium sized businesses how you can start and uh, what are the key factors that you need to put into consideration when you are starting such a business now my research is based on uh, observations uh, literature review and uh, interviews with people who have been doing uh, the small and medium sized businesses so you can hit the like button if you find this video to be useful you can also share with your friends and i also like questions you can ask me questions that will be useful in preparing for the next video so let's get started let's dive into the video now the first thing is that uh, laundry ni kuosha nguo now laundry how it works is that you open a place a small shop where customers bring in their clothes for example you have your duvet you've not to wash for the past uh, six months you bring it to the laundry Ona, Oshewa, washing such a big uh, piece of uh, how do you call it bedding ama clothing can be quite a challenge and uh, men especially men don't like the idea of washing so it's it is also challenging because in Aumiza Mgongo okay so if you have can spare some money you can be able to pay somebody na nakposhea nguo so it's a growing trend within urban areas our estates so you can make 5000 daily this is how you can make your 5000 daily doing laundry work now let's say you are going to wash four duvets Na duvet eh, ukipeleka mahali pa good eh, laundry watakuchaje eh, between 800 to 1000 shillings so if you do four duvets and maybe a few clothes a jacket a suit and so on you'll be able to make your 5k daily so that's how easy it is to achieve that goal so in every business we will have uh, strengths strengths ni zile vitu zinafanya hiyo biashara inakuwa profitable ama inakuwa ina attract watu wengi so the first strength is that uh, ni raisi ku start na laundry is a business that is considered to be a small business basing on the initial capital you need to inject in such a business so it is easy to start it is also easy to manage and does not require technical skills now i'll give a comparison biashara zingine kama chemist you will require to you be required to employ somebody with some technical skills if you are doing welding you be required to employ somebody who knows how to do welding if you are operating a cyber business you be required to employ somebody who knows software and such stuff but in a laundry case you just need to find somebody who is uh, interested in learning how to use the machines it is very easy to to teach someone and be in business then uh, we have ready customers 
within our estates we have uh, a huge population of men who do not want to engage in in the washing so we have ready customers and you don't need to buy goods and so you just need water and the detergent and you'll be able to uh, make money then uh, in terms of weaknesses the first weakness ni kwamba growth inaweza kuwa pole pole in within the first two, one to two or three months what to before people know your business it may have a slow growth then it's also labor intensive kuosha nguo and handling uh, water it requires a lot of effort then you will also find weakness of juicy customers mostly ladies they will start uh, maybe raising issues complaining and so on okay so you have to be careful about that then opportunities you can expand you can open more joints once you have a successful laundry shop you can also diversify introduce other uh, products for example within that shop you can introduce an mpesa operate an mpesa you can also start selling other products like detergents uh, perfumes and so on so opportunities are many then threats ni competition competition is a threat mtatakuja na open a uh, uh, similar shop next to you then uh, another threat ni detergents na zaribu nguo ya mtu ukiaribu nguo ya mtu utaletewa shida unaweza ambiwa ununue nguo zingine na unaweza pata loss kubwa sana so this is the startup breakdown uh, for you to start a laundry you'll need rent a deposit which may vary it is not fixed it may vary depending on the location you choose you will also be required to cut a license ya kanjo and so on you will also be required to have some equip furniture and equipment equipment ni machines za kuosha nguo then you also do paint work and branding 10,000 miscellaneous 20,000 then roughly 250,000 may be required this figure may vary depending on the type of machine you choose and the type of branding or furniture you choose to use for your business then uh, finally what are the key success factors for you to succeed biashara, you need uh, a good location for example you need to locate your business in a estate with a good population okay in places like nairobi you need these upcoming estates then uh, you need to do quality work once you have uh, the first customers you need to give a very good impression that you can deliver quality work then you also need reliable equipment that will not start overheating and so on then you need to locate your business where there is uh, plenty of water water should not be a challenge since you are doing cleaning okay so just to put a quote to encourage you you will win without to win without risk taking is to triumph without glory so in conclusion land is a lucrative and profitable business idea you can take the risk and get started so thank you so much for watching you can ask me questions you can uh, give me comments you can like share and subscribe so thank you so much and see you in the next video